time is it? It's 1.45. Good reminder, I need to be downstairs at 3.45. We're getting whisked off with Wella to a hair exhibition, looking at the history of hair. And we're with a PR team at the moment who do like Wella, OPI, GHD. So I've got some like Wella and GHD bits in the room. I haven't even given the room a proper look around. I will in a sec. But I just thought I would have an espresso and catch up. <laughs> Obviously haven't done a vlog in a really long time and I'm just loving long form content at the moment like even watching other people's vlogs is my favourite way to relax. I don't know whether like short form TikTok and stuff gets me in like a heightened sense of like <sighs> but there's something really relaxing about a vlog at the moment so I was like I feel very inspired to vlog. I also saw Josie a couple of weeks ago and I literally had a headache afterwards because we were chatting for two hours and I felt so damn inspired my body was like buzzed with inspiration so yeah decided to do a little vlog so we got to paris just now we're staying at the kimpton kimpton fitz i want to say kimpton fitz royal uh we're close to the exhibition we've got like dinner tonight with um a few gals um writers for magazines doing press and a couple of content creators me included and yeah, I've got two hours now to do what I want and I'm just like, do I, do I walk out in the sun? The view, by the way. You're currently on top of the new duet styler. This is the view from my room. This is all the hotel and the weather in Paris today is wild. So yeah, I felt like I'm just going to do a chatty Paris trip. Here's to more vlogs this year, we hope. Mm hmm. So that's where I was just sat and then this is my little bed for the night with a velvet couch which I just had to move and then got like a little table here and then through here is the bathroom. Really love the marble floors. I've got the bog in there and then here is my little getting ready area and yeah I've got two hours now and I was like either I could go out to the Tudory and I wanted to go to like Cafe Kitsune, I think it's called, and get a matcha. Um, or I should just get ready slash do content in the room. So I don't know. And we've got loads of Wella products here as well. We actually don't know if this is the launch. <laughs> I don't know what product it is yet because it's kept under wraps. Um, I think this will be it though because we've got four steps here of ultimate repair. But like everyone's been really secretive about the product. But they said it's like a caring repairing type thing. So yeah, I think this is it which is really exciting. I obviously love Wella. This isn't an ad at all. Um, so I'm really excited to use them. I feel like they're kind of always like the luxury product with the kind of high street price. They don't take the piss and they actually work and they do really well. I'm, I've got the Wella Rich Oil in my hair actually at the moment because I feel like it help, weirdly helps keep the style when I've done my hair because it's like the oil protects it from moisture in the air. I don't know, but that's how I feel. And then the sink area, got a GHD Helios here as well, which is really handy. European plug. Quite a big shower room, to be honest. Um, that's nice. I've got my stuff out. I've just hung up my stuff for the evening, which I do need to wear this jacket. And then I've got some other bits I need to hang up, actually, before they get creased. And yeah, this is my little room. I think this is my ticket to the exhibition tonight, which should be fun. And then we go out for dinner, and then we're home tomorrow. Very cute room with such a view. It's those like Parisian architecture that I just love. Looking at all of these, I assume they're free. The chocolate, oh my God, that is shortbread with Comte de cheese. I'll have that. Some bonbons, like a Haribo type thing. Oh, nuts and dried fruits. Oh, I could just read the English. More healthy. Um, and I saw this. I think this is a sex game. And it's kind of open a bit, so like everyone is as intrigued as I have been. I hope I don't get charged. This goes on the room or something on the, the brand's company card. Sexy body marker. <laughs> Stationery is sexy. This has definitely been open before. An intimate, intimate wipe. It's all making a lot of sense so far. Excitement gel for women. 
uh, and then I can see condoms. I don't want this to be charged on Weather's company card, so I'm going to put it away. I think I might just kind of leave my hair like this tonight. I'm like hyper aware. Then there's ambassadors for Weller and GHD are going to be there and stuff. Um, I think we're mixing with some other people tonight. Apparently it's a very international event. And then we've got a dinner at Le Perouche, which I haven't heard of or been to before, but apparently it's got 360 degrees of Paris and it should be really nice. I did my makeup today as well, so I might see how far I can take the hair and makeup. A quick outfit of the day actually as well. So I've got the Uniqlo top on. I put this on my Instagram and TikTok last night. 5,000 swipe ups to purchase. Um, so like one in four people swiping up to buy it and it's sold out in numerous sizes and colours now but if you can get your hands on it, it's like a built-in bra, makes a lot of sense. Um, I've got my new saint Pay body serum tan on, um, who I am working with but not on this trip. And then Tala, um, their leggings, Dayflex, and then some Converse and I had this little Abercrombie Cardion, um, the grey one. I'll link what I can down below did a little Pam Anderson thing here um but the that's a bit crazy you have to ignore it the leggings from Tala are like <laughs> they just make so much sense and that I think that's like the theme with everything that I have as well it's just like if it makes sense I'm having it but the um leggings I also wore to Amsterdam last week because I was like I can travel in them and then they're like <laughs> A little bit grimy after travel so then I can wear them to the gym I obviously wear them like day to day for exercising and or even going to meetings like one pair of leggings that you can travel work in and work out in it's crazy I am really excited to be vlogging again that's why I'm running out of breath and then yeah my little Abercrombie cardigan and then I have my mango camel coat that you would have seen just before but it made for a great travel outfit because I was like having layers it's really warm and sunny here it's lovely Someone set the room to 17 degrees, it was absolutely freezing when I came in. Um, I'm an EF cup, I wouldn't really go above in this though, yeah, like a 34E is like the max. And I think I wear this in an XL, but I'll link it, but it will be sold out because of my TikTok. So this is another treat in the room, the duet style, which I've seen. So like you take your hair from wet to styled, it's like a two-in-one styler. And I think we get a demo of that later this evening. But I'm just at a bit of a loss what to do because if I go out now, it means less time getting ready, but then I'm also kind of ready already. But then I might get sweaty and then I could go out tomorrow, but I really wanna go to the gym tomorrow. And I think we have an earliest train. We've also got a group breakfast. Oh, and then we're meeting the founder of Weller for like chats at some point as well. So I'm just doing that thing where like I've got options, but limited time. So I'm ending up wasting my time by not doing anything. I might look at the room service menu. I wanna do, okay, let me know if you want me to do this because it is like a big thing and I wanna do it properly, but nobody packs their bag and really toiletries bag as well as I do. I know it looks big. This is my one night in Paris or my 10 nights in the Maldives. Everything is in here. We've got scissors, plasters, painkillers, light foundation, darker foundation, everything. Um, it's two separate compartments, but I kind of want to do like a proper talk through because I do have a strategy to it. I also have a digital packing list, which I have iterated on for like genuinely eight years. <laughs> like everything is in there from, from my model days. These chips look mega. And then I got this little lobster roll, which actually isn't so little. Sauces, already cracked into the ketchup. And this lovely weather and view in Paris. Well, how is that for a change? A little red lip, an all black number, in fact. Let me show you my outfit. You are standing upon the most precarious arrangement ever. <laughs> So I just shished up my hair with some um, like dry shampoo and I'm using the Ruby Woo MAC lipstick with the Charlotte Tilbury Crazy in Love lip liner, Abercrombie kind of tux jacket. Uh, this is a very old m and body, like took me through my modelling days, it's at least 
seven, at least seven years old. There's like old Topshop belt. Um, this is me trying to just put together like a going out outfit because I don't go out, but I do have a border of the basics. Then there's River Island trousers that went pretty crazy. I have these in a plus style. All of this is obviously on my LTK. And then simply be heels, which also come in like a wide fit if you have wide feet. They do boots for if you have like a wider calf. Makes loads of sense. Um, and then I just added some jewelry, like I've got my Monica Vinita bracelet, Monica Vinita necklace, um, and some Missouri rings, and my Apple Watch. Just some constructive feedback to the Kimpton. I really wanted a glass of your rosé. Um, there's no bottle opener and there's no glasses. What do you want me to do? I mean, the uni me knows what to do, but I can't do that here. such a nice evening so we went for the exhibition at like four it's nearly midnight so we've had a long day and also we all met at outside join the juice by the Eurostar this morning at eight so it's just been very 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 long um but we've actually had such a laugh it's been really nice we've had so many jokes um it's kind of like a smaller PR group trip which is really nice it was just four of us and then the two PR tricks and um yeah, just had like loads of lols and it's so funny because like it's such a weird scenario but you you just meet up with people that you've never met before and then you're like in a cab with them in Paris and a few hours later and you're having dinner and you spend like the whole day together and it gets really like intimate and funny and like it's just a very very bizarre scenario I guess but one that I really enjoy. And it's weird because it's like, even doing this vlog, like I can feel myself coming back to my like pre-COVID self and it's taken so long, but I do feel like I'm becoming more social and like more jokes and just like being like my old self a little bit, which is really nice to feel like that. Um, Cause like I had a very, oh my goodness, <laughs> proper joker now, but I can just feel myself being like more chilled. Anyway, I'm gonna shower and get into bed. Not feeling fab. I think not great at staying in bed set up my own. I can't do alcohol anymore. I'm sorry, I'm 31. I had two glasses of Prosecco last night over the course of seven hours. Can't do it, have a headache. Have a headache, that's so stupid. Maybe it's a Prosecco thing. Like if I'd had a margarita, I might have been okay. So yeah, the remedy of choice, breakfast in the room. Or just some banana bread, avocado toast, and a coffee, and it'll be here soon. I'm so grateful. It's really cringe, just yesterday I was giving it the big I am. I was like, yeah, probably hit the gym at half six. Uh, I might go for a swim, gonna do some shopping. I'll go out for a walk, grab a coffee by the Seine. I just don't know if anything of that is gonna happen today. Um, I literally feel ill after two glasses of Prosecco. It's getting old. And my body's not used to it. I'm just not a drinker at home. I might go teetotal. I think that's what my body wants, to be honest. My coffee, ooh, looks good. My Baja avocado toast. I feel like it's like a Mexican spin. Cause I think, a, I thought a Baja was like a fish taco. 
this looks really tasty. Um, banana bread. Didn't ask for it, but a bakery basket, which I <laughs> gasped when I saw it. This is cute. Honey jam jam honey marmalade. heard a rumour that there is a really nice big rooftop here and it's such a sunny day. I'm gonna head up there and I've got my um, my sunglasses and my like morning journal. So I just thought it'd be a really nice place to journal if it's quiet up there. Oh wow. What a view. Paris just looks so good at the moment. Really nice. Definitely gonna journal out here and just have a little moment. I find those like quiet moments by yourself are the memories that you keep. Very special. Having a moment. I am having a moment. It's just weird that it's a Tuesday and this is work. Sorry, I blocked you up. I'm feeling very grateful and I will remember this. I remember this moment. And it's like Paris is obviously always so nostalgic because I could wish that I could just go back to like how old was I? 20. And I'm 31 and I'm here and I just wish she could see me now. But you did good, 20-year-old self. I'm so proud you stuck to it. It's really nice. So it always feels very full circle coming back to Paris. My French is appalling though. It is 10.25. In half an hour Cartier opens. I can't say any more. <laughs> I am not a Cartier girl. I'm not a luxury girl. Um, but there's a special reason I'm popping in. I will say no more. And yeah, so very bizarre that it opens at 11. We have to check out by 11.30. So I'm thinking I can just do quick Wham bam, thank you ma'am, and then be able to check out, and then we head to go on the Eurostar. <sighs> feeling very calm, feeling very packed up, feeling ready. Might just, yeah, chill for half an hour now. So we are back from Paris, I've got a fresh layer of tan on. I did all the right things, I put moisturiser on my hands, but it really did cling, and then like, my arms are pale, so it's so annoying. I've been wearing vest tops recently. You probably noticed, I, I've never been a vest top person. I am living in them now. This is the Uniqlo one, another viral thing. Um, I'll link it below, but really you should have watched my last video, which was the H&M bestsellers and Uniqlo um, viral ones, because it was, it was such a good haul. But anyway, I'm gonna do Zara today and this Zara haul was really good. Mainly, maybe because I went into store and I am so good at knowing what my size is on the rail. A couple of them I could have taken a bit bigger, but we'll get into it. Just checking the TikTok, drum roll. So I posted this Zara stuff I'm gonna show you last night. It's 12 hours old, it's got 370,000 views, which is crazy, like my TikTok is growing. I'm nearly at 250K. It's gonna overtake Instagram at some point. But I thought I would get this up for you as soon as possible, because I did put all the codes and sizes in the TikTok caption, and I was like, I need to get this on YouTube. As per usual, all my links, sizes, codes for everything will be below if you don't follow me on Instagram or TikTok. You don't have to, but I would recommend it. So first up, is this stripe jumper. I really liked the off-white. It's a very dark navy stripe. And weirdly, I actually didn't have something as basic as this in my wardrobe. The sad news is the largest one they had in the pile was a medium. It's the smallest size of the whole haul. And actually, when I try it on, I would have liked an oversized look, that like XL, XXL even, tuck it into some white jeans. But I'll show you it on. It just, it fits like perfectly, almost tailored, but I want it oversized. Next are these white linen trousers. They are like, oh, like a centimeter too short. Not that you'd know though. And they're really wide at the bottom in an interesting way. Like they look expensive. Really comfortable drawstring tie waist here. Pockets, great 
highly see-through. Like you will need to have second skin nude pants. I've got loads of them and I wear them all the time and I could easily wear them with this or even like a seamless thong. MNS do my favorite ones. Um, look for their like microfiber no VPL range. XXL, 50 pounds, a real summer staple. Up next is the biggest shocker ever. I had never tried the Zara like viral bodysuits that they bring out every single year. They're the unpadded ones. They have a double lining around the boob bit here. And I just never tried them because not only am I curvy, I'm also long. So bodies, I'm like, a body Zara, it's not really gonna fit. It does. Size L. Um, they didn't have any bigger from what I could see, but if you go online, it says XL coming soon, which is really exciting because I feel like the L is good. I'm definitely keeping this. The XL, yeah, because look, there isn't an XL on the label here. Online it says coming soon, so that means they're expanding their sizes in the bodies. I wonder if they're doing anything else. But yeah, these are worth giving go, and they're so comfy, and they're so stretchy, so I was really, really impressed with them. Clearly went a bit body crazy, and because I'm doing 30 outfits in 30, I'm looking for lots of capsule wardrobe staples. And I saw this little stripy knit vest top. I really like the neck detail, and you'll see on me, it just, it looks quite elegant. And then it has that same black border around the armholes as well. The difficulty with this one obviously is with bras. I'm like an EF cup. Could I wear a strapless with it? It is just like, a little bit of faff and I think you notice the boobs more because of the stripes you can see the way they like shape on your body whereas the black bodysuit you don't so much and I'd probably wear the black bodysuit with like a shirt over it or something so I'm not 100% about this but I like the idea and I just think that like halter neck with e-cut boobs is it will always be tricky it's no fault of the top it's just not the perfect pairing I think uh, the same top but in black same kind of vibe but just a really elegant top I feel like if you like going out without a bra these would be so nice and so easy to wear for day or because of the elegant neckline I do think they would work for night I paired uh, the body with oh no sorry not body the top knit top with some like black suit trousers with wide leg trousers looks really nice with either a shirt over and open or a blazer it's good it's good then I got this dress very niche but I've realized why I really liked it I love a polka dot on curves I don't know why um, it's a very wearable pattern perhaps but I like it when the dot when the dots are in lines like it's like a grid a, a, a grid of dots and I don't know why but I just I seem to like that but I saw this and it's kind of I think it's like an off black it's almost like a black navy um, with these off white polka dots the arm holes here are elasticated as well which allows for more of like a better fit and it's a v-neck shape <sighs> I don't know I let me just show you the bra I wore with it first I'll link it below it's the wonder bra strapless it has metal hands inside that hold you up I haven't worn this the whole of autumn winter I haven't had to this in spring summer gets its wear this is the second one I've ever had they're a little bit pricey at like 40 pounds I'll link them I'm pretty sure they're on Amazon fashion but they're just like worth every damn penny and they've got these little like sticky sucky bits here it stops them from sliding down it's the only bra that actually gives me lift as an e-cup and stays there nothing will ever beat it and the little metal claws just like so that's the bra that i wore with this dress you'll see i kind of think it like highlights my belly and my hips not that that's a bad thing but the cut just feels tight in specific places and loose in others if you look at the footage you might be able to see it's slightly loose around here which is really typical i think maybe i've got a small bust for my shape my size um but it's a lovely length i also feel like it's kind of hard to style but easy to style weirdly you can put a blazer over it and wear it with converse i did that for one of my spring outfit reels um and that looks really cool with like a bag across but you can also wear it with like just a white shirt or you could dress it up obviously with heels and um like a black blazer for the night red lip bit of gold jewelry um so yeah it's this isn't a hundred percent but it's so close and it's so nice and it's actually really affordable 33 pounds in a size xl if you aren't watching me on instagram or tiktok like i'm bleeding myself dry basically to get all of these outfits out they go live at 5 p.m every single night and there's like an ltk post that's correlating that has all of the links or if not there's dupes and it's like 
it's such a public thing because I've had to say to everybody like I'm doing this and now I have to do it for 30 days. It's really interesting. It makes me realize how difficult it is. I tend to shoot like seven outfits in a day and then I'll stagger them throughout the week, but I'm trying to work out what my process is and work smart, not hard. Um, but yeah, lots of this will be on there and all other ones. So if you are looking for like mid-sized style inspo, now is the best time to be following me on the other platforms. Next is this blazer. I would describe it as like a washed out khaki. It's a very tricky color. Like there's some khaki in there. There's some gray. It's kind of grayish, um, but it's really lovely. I've seen a lot of people wear this. I got it in a size XL and it's perfectly oversized. Really lovely. Zara and Mango for blazers and jackets are just the best. They feel so much more expensive than they are real staples and with my whole like spring outfit reels that i'm doing i'm reaching for blazers so much i also feel like if i'm ever wearing like a body or just a slinkier top and i want to feel a little bit more comfortable argos you're a winner claim your prize i think that's a scam that the blazers are great to reach for if you're wearing something slinkier underneath and also just great for spring now because we do still need layers like it looks so hot outside but it's actually a little bit chilly final outfit piece i do have a couple of shoes to show you which are just so good um this blue shirt i think it's their chambray shirt i see this every single year i really liked the color it's like a vibrant blue it's just such a beautiful blue with a tan with gold jewelry with some white jeans size xxl 26 quid not too bad is it but the amount of wear that i would get out of this even if you go on holiday and you're wearing a bikini underneath and you can also wear this in the office like there are a few items in my wardrobe that work so hard because they could do a meeting or the beach and i just really appreciate those pieces that's what i want is just like a hard working wardrobe less stuff i hate stuff and more options and cost per wear decreased and all of that stuff then i said i have a couple of shoes i saw them i wasn't in the market for shoes at all but i saw them and i was like there is no way i can't pick those up so first of all again you would have seen these before these are the zara tan sandals i really like the way that they repeat them every single year it lets me know that they are popular that people bought them but also people kept them i'm getting itched by my hair but Anyway, these are, these are good and I am looking forward to wearing them. I didn't have anything tan wise and um, sometimes black leather can look a little bit harsh in spring summer so I thought I would get these. Also these, which I am yet to um, detag, but oh my goodness, they caught my eye. So they are black heels with this like faux buckle thing here. They have this block heel, the sling back uh, elasticated, ankle jobby and I just thought they were so elegant and I was imagining wearing these with jeans I think you could wear it with jeans t-shirt and blazer I think you could um, for an evening look or with wide leg trousers going to a meeting but the block heel as well and they didn't I think block heels can sometimes look a bit clunky but I just felt like these really went with the shoe and were elegant so I love these I think they're going to be like a bestseller on my tiktok oh, I've already got a bit of makeup on them I love them and I think you will too. Thanks very much for watching. I will have all links, codes, sizes, everything below and I hope you enjoyed the little Paris vlog as well. I think if that's what you want to see, I'm going to start putting them together. So like the kind of fashion-y stuff that you're used to, like hauls or even makeup, like sitting down talky videos and showing you products with some more vlog lifestyle, me living my life stuff, mesh them together for a slightly longer vlog. I think that would be good. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video and anything else you wanna know, just comment below and I will get back to you. Thanks, bye.